Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. German arms manufacturer Rainmetal is set to supply Ukraine with a substantial quantity of projectiles in 2024, including prototypes of artillery shells capable of reaching a distance of 100 kilometers. Rainmetal CEO Armin Papperger disclosed this plan, as reported by the German newspaper Handelsblatt. Speaking at an event organized by the Association of Business Journalists at the Industrial Club of Dusseldorf, Papperger underscored the pivotal role of artillery, labeling it as a game-changer. He outlined Rainmetal's intention to dispatch hundreds of thousands of artillery shells to Ukraine within the year, with these shipments encompassing prototypes of long-range shells capable of reaching distances of 100 kilometers. These shells, available in 120mm and 155mm calibers, are tailored for armored vehicles and artillery systems supplied by Western nations to Ukraine. Papperger emphasized Rainmetal's significant emphasis on artillery manufacturing, noting a substantial increase in production capacity. Prior to Russia's full-scale invasion, the company's annual shell production capacity stood at approximately 70,000. However, in the current year, Rainmetal aims to ramp up production to 700,000 shells. Highlighting a trend of declining artillery production in the United States and Europe in recent years, Papperger underscored Rainmetal's commitment to fill this void. Previously disclosed plans by Rainmetal include the establishment of an artillery factory in Ukraine, along with facilities dedicated to the production of military vehicles, ammunition, and anti-aircraft weapons. During the Munich Security Conference in February, Papperger signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Ukrainian Minister of Strategic Industries, Oleksandr Kamishin, outlining plans for joint production of weapon shells in another factory based in Ukraine. Against the backdrop of intensified aerial assaults by Russia on Ukrainian cities and territorial gains along Ukraine's eastern front line, a significant shortage of ammunition has constrained the Ukrainian army's response capabilities. Presently, the artillery firing ratio stands at 1 to 11, with Russia escalating its artillery barrage, thereby weakening Ukrainian defenses and facilitating substantial territorial advancements. Artillery, often referred to as the queen of the battlefield due to its historical significance, is extensively utilized in the conflict in Ukraine, surpassing the deployment of infantry. The dominance of artillery fire confers a significant advantage to both belligerents, underscoring the significance of artillery shells as the primary type of ammunition in the announced deliveries, followed by anti-aircraft systems. That's all for now. See you later.